You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. Welcome into Spangler Stadium here in Boiling Springs, North Carolina. A hot and muggy evening, and here tonight the Wofford Terriers open the 2012 football season. I'm Mark Hauser. Welcome into Terrier Vision. Wofford coming off an eight and four year one season ago, looking to qualify for the FCS playoffs for a third straight season, take on the running Bulldogs of Gardner-Webb. The Terriers will be led by Brian Cass, who makes his first start at quarterback, his first career start against a Gardner-Webb club that comes back with a 1,000-yard running back in Kenny Little. Should be a heck of a matchup to get things started. The Bulldogs a year ago in the Big South Conference were 2-4, and four, and they were 4-7 and seven overall. Let's get Get to the highlights coming down in buckets and we may not start this game on time in fact we may not get started till after 6 30 with a six o'clock schedule kickoff third and six bulldogs make it third and seven from the terrier 18 center of the field little the lone back two tight ends wide outs either side for Beatty. quick drop for the quarterback throws fade pattern toward the end zone and it is intercepted blake wiley has picked the ball off the intended target was swinton he was overthrown by lucas Beatty. Two receivers right, one to the left. This time, Cass will go out of the gun with backs flanking them either side. Johnson and Breitenstein fake of the dive to Breitenstein. Cass wants to turn right corner, gets out of the reach of a tackler, makes the 25, near sideline 30. Cass bumped out of bounds close to the 35-yard line, and he's got a first down. Wofford, third down and a short yard from their 44 on the right hash. Again, the pistol formation, man in motion to the near side. And it's a fake of the dive to Breitenstein. Cass with a first down run over right side, has a seam to the 50, down to the Gardner-Webb 40, slung down from behind at the Bulldog 37 and a half yard line by the corner, Kamar Morrison. No score, six play of the Terrier drive, first and 10 at the Bulldog 37 yard line, back to the wing bone. Play action for Cass, first pass of the year, wants Johnson, has him near side 15, 10, five, that is a touchdown. What a got, well out of the, got out of the grab of the strong safety, Gianni Olivas, and he was off to the races. Touchdown reception, Donovan Johnson, 37 yards. This time, Beatty will go out of the gun. He's got backs flanking, flanking him either side. No tight ends in the pocket. Time to throw. Now coverage breaks down, and Beatty's going to be taken down at the 34-yard line. Josh Roseboro has Wofford's first sack of the year. Single man back deep for Wofford. It's a poor snap. Lindsey gets hit. The ball is free on the ground. Picked up by a Terrier at the 10 and run into the end zone for a touchdown. C.J. Turner. Six minutes and 26 seconds remaining. We are in the first quarter. Terriers 14, Gardner-Webb nothing. Two receivers left, Simmons to the outside. One receiver, Ashley to the right. On first down, out of the gun again. Handoff, flags fly. And that's a carry and a good one by Cameron Flowers. Dragging the pile to the 50, to the 45, all the way down to the Gardner-Webb 40. Terriers second and three from their 15. Out of the gun, Cass. Handoff, Breitenstein, he's in the open. 20, cutting left at the 30. 30, breaks the tackle 35-40. Breitenstein all the way out to the 50-yard line. He is dragged down at the Gardner-Webb 48. And Wofford will settle for a 14-point lead at the break. Two tight end, now three tight end formation. Play action. Beatty under fire as the ball knocked out of his hands. It's loose on the ground. Beatty picks it up, but he is slung to the ground way back at the 15-yard line. Second and goal from the 30. Wide outs either side. Thompson to the right, Cook to the left. Both have good size, especially Cook at 6'4". Under center, Beatty, quick drop, throwing, fade pattern, near side toward the end zone, almost intercepted. Stephon Shelton bats it away. Gardner-Webb again. Put four linemen down. Cass fakes the pitch with time to throw. Puts it up to the near side. Leaping catch by Ashley. First down at the 34-yard line. Jeff Ashley made a fine adjustment on the football. Hauled it in with two hands up over his head. 
Twins left, a single receiver right. Bulldogs showing blitz, man in motion right. And it's going to be a handoff, big hole up the middle. That's the 40 to the 50, near side Donovan Johnson, 40, near sideline 30. He'll be run out of bounds inside the 20, all the way down to the 18-yard line. Bobby Clark with the tackle. In clan is the holder. High snap, spot down, kick on the way, has the distance. He got it, and the Terriers turn that drive into three points. A field goal for Christian Reed of 28 yards. Simmons goes wide to the left, short split to the right now for Ashley, who had a huge catch on the last drive. Terriers go out of the wing bone. Breitenstein handoff right up the middle, breaks two tackles, stiffs arm a man at the 40, 50, 40, far side 30, Breitenstein 20, 10, 5, that is a touchdown! Eric Breitenstein goes a long way for the score. Great blocking up front, and Breitenstein showed a little speed right there. Beatty up under center, single back on first and 10 from the 15. Good night. He'll be sacked back at the 10-yard line. Josh Roseboro with his second tackle behind the line of scrimmage tonight from Jenkinsville, South Carolina. Terriers up on Gardner-Webb, 24-7. Twins right. Out of the gun, cast with two backs flanking him. Play action for Brian. He'll throw, has a man wide open. Far numbers at the 50. It is caught by Ashley to the 45. Slung out of bounds into the Terrier bench at the 41. And then we get a late flag. That's going to cost Gardner-Webb another 15 yards for a late hit out of bounds by Donald Bowie. Second down and four just inside the 20. Two receivers left. Terriers with Breitenstein, the lone back. Cass out of the gun. Again, it's Breitenstein. Pops through the pile. He'll Take it to the 10, angling left to the 5, touchdown. Pretty good way to get over 200 yards. A touchdown run of 20 yards for Eric Breitenstein. First and 10, Watford from the 37-yard line. And Michael Weimer, reserve quarterback in there, pitch far corner. And that's going to be Caleb Lucas turning right side, taking it to the 40, to the 45, to the 49. 12-yard run for Caleb Lucas. First and 15 at the 32. Two receivers right, a wing to the left. It's a handoff and Johnny Martin will carry 25-20. He'll be smothered from behind inside the 15 at the 10. So this will be a 38-yard try from dead ahead out of the hold of Paul Inclam. The snapper is Comer. Spot down. Kick on the way, and he got it. Christian Reed with a 38-yard field goal. Your final score from Spangler Stadium here in Boiling Springs, North Carolina. The Wofford College Terriers, 34, and the Gardner-Webb University Bulldogs, 7. All right, Coach, it was wet out there, a little bit slick in the first half. Talk about the first half. You move the ball, but only one touchdown in terms of punching it in. Well, it was really wet and it was really slippery. But that being said, Garden Wet played well. Uh, we, we kept hunting and pecking a little bit from an offense standpoint. Defensively, uh, Garden Web um, starts out on offense and they're moving against us all the way down the field. Uh, defensive mentality, those guys are still getting after it and make a play right there and all of a sudden deny them a touchdown. Next thing you know, we, we create one. And uh, kicking game was huge. They had the uh, bobble snap on the punt and uh, we went after them and uh, were able to scoop and score, get a touchdown 14 to nothing. And then after that, uh, started finding a couple things that worked. Uh, Eric, Breitenstein uh, doing his thing, uh, hit the hole a couple times. Uh, some of the young backs hit the hole. Uh, I thought Brian Cass did a great job. Uh, him being the man and being the starter. Uh, I thought we blocked well up front. i really pleased with the, the defense. Defensive front, the young guys came in and played well. Uh, created a lot of pressure on them. Uh, basically didn't allow them to run the football. And they'd been very effective running the football against a bunch of people. They're um, an offensive line that probably averaged 6'3 and change and 3'10. And, uh, and they're athletic kids. Uh, Coach Dickerson does a great job of coaching the X's and the O's. And, uh, and we knew it'd be a ball game. Uh, the weather was really tough. Uh, you're expecting a 
a hot steamy one and all of a sudden you get uh, you get one of those where it's uh, it's like we were down there in, in Louisiana uh, at the tail end of a hurricane so uh, it all turned out uh, the way that we like it um, can we get better we got to get better but uh, there was a lot of good things tonight and proud of the guys proud of their effort you brought up Brian Cass his first career start and and yep. what stood out well I, I think uh, First of all, it, it, when he ran that first play, uh, you could see him run it. He ran it with confidence. Um, was a guy in high school that uh, pretty much was a thrower. I mean, he, he was a passer, um, but he was athletic. And, um, and he's a guy that uh, worked really hard in camp to uh, get down the, the steps and the reeds. Uh, Coach Lang did a great job of getting him prepared. Uh, really pleased with the way the front blocked. I thought our receivers caught the ball well when, uh, when we threw it. And, uh, and it, overall, I, you got to give a lot of credit to all of those kids that uh, came up here on the bus and, and played because they played hard and they played well. You talked about the young guys on the defensive front. Yeah. When you go back and look at the film, what do you think you're going to see? I'm going to see them winning most of the battles. And, and uh, when you do that, you've got a chance. I'm going to see them uh, stopping a team that uh, normally runs the ball well, stopping the run game. And uh, uh, you're, you're going to see a group of guys that are going to pressure the passer and in, in uh, tough situations. A lot of times when you have a bad field that's slippery and stuff like that, it's hard to get the takeoff. We're not big guys on defensive front, but uh, we try to rely on quickness and speed and technique, and uh, our guys were able to, to get off and pressure the quarterback and, and, uh, and create a bad plays for them, negative plays for them, and, uh, and that, that afforded us an opportunity to have the ball more, uh, possess the ball, and, and eventually work some things out and, and get it going from an offensive standpoint. Eric, I know in the scrimmages you didn't get a lot of carries, so how did it feel just to get out there and bang some heads and carry the football? It's just so good to actually be out back playing. When it was storming and everything before, I was, I was like, oh gosh, don't put it off any longer. I want to be out there playing football. Wet surface, how'd that affect things? Um, you know, it was really weird. Uh, it was a Wofford team that ran the ball, you know, which is unusual. So. <laughs> So it didn't matter it was wet. Okay, talk about the fact in the first half, you moved the ball but couldn't punch it in very often. What changed in the second half? You know, it's just one of those things where uh, we had a great offensive line and we're grinding, we're grinding, we're grinding. We just, bad things would happen. Uh, in this first game, mistakes are going to happen. I think kind of we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit. But, uh, you know, when it came down to it, you know, we had a lot of heart, played with a lot of heart and finished strong right there and we're able to punch a few in. Travis, what was it like to finally get out there and pop some pads? Uh, it was good, you know, it was, it was, it was a great feeling to get out there and hit somebody else besides our guys. You know, we, we all love each other on this team, but when it's time to go to play, man, we, we all go to battle, you know what I mean? Looked like they tried to establish the run. What did the defense do so well, especially early in the ball game? Well, really, I, I give all the credit to the guys up front. The D-line, the uh, young guys, EJ, you know, they made a lot of plays up there. And, you know, the linebackers, we did what we had to do. It was a team effort. You know, DBs played. They, they did what they had to do. So everybody did their job. So the Terriers open up the 2012 campaign with a convincing win at Gardner-Webb, up 14 to nothing at the break. They go on to beat the running Bulldogs 34 to 7. Wofford off to a 1 and 0 start. Next up for the Terriers, a non-conference game against Division II Lincoln University out of Philadelphia next Saturday night at Gibbs Stadium. The home opener will kick off at 7 o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.